spiritual development plays an important part in the making of a United States Marine. Lieutenant Commander Ulysses L. Ubalde, Chaplain Corps, United States Navy, will deliver the graduation prayer. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Let us pray. Lord, we ask for your almighty hand to be upon these new U.S. Marines. As they graduate, we pray that they would be strong and courageous, believing that you have called them and are always with them. We pray that they would be bold to stand for what is right, even if it means standing alone. Equip them for every purpose and journey you have in store so that they would live as mighty warriors in this life for your purposes. We pray that when they encounter various struggles and difficult times, when they experience loss and things don't go their way, that you would teach them greater perseverance through it all. Build deeper character, stronger faith, and use any hardship in their lives for ultimate good turning it around for blessing instead. We ask for your powerful boldness and courage to face every challenge set before them with a confidence and peace that can only come from your spirit. Raise up greatness within their lives and greatness in this generation. May they be willing to stand strong and true, passionate for you, believing that you have designed them for purpose and good works which you have planned and prepared in advance for them to do. May the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And the Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. Thank you, sir. The Commanding General, Marine Corps Group Depot San Diego, welcomes you to what is a historic event in the life of a Marine. Their graduation from boot camp, approximately 40 weeks each year for the past 100 years, new Marines have departed San Diego for service with units of the Marine Corps around the globe. The primary mission of the Recruit Depot is to provide basic training to recruits enlisted west of the Mississippi, which represents approximately 51% of all applicants in the Marine Corps each year. The Depot is also home to recruiter school, and Drill Instructor School. All our efforts here are geared toward one end, producing America's finest fighting force, the United States Marines. This morning, Company G, 2nd Recruit Training Battalion, Recruit Training Regiment, will form and march in the parade. Following the passing review, the graduating Marines will return front and center of the reviewing stand for final dismissal. The staff for today's parade is comprised of Marines from the Recruit Training Regiment. The Commander of Troops is Captain Charles W. Sprott, Company Commander, Company G, 2nd Recruit Training Battalion. The parade adjutant is 1st Lieutenant Brandon L. Carter, Executive Officer, Company G, 2nd Recruit Training Battalion, Recruit Training Regiment. The marching units are now being called to attention, and the adjutant's command, sound adjutant's call, will begin today's parade. Sound adjutant's call! <laughs> graduating Marines from Company G. Among the 413 Marines are two Marines who displayed outstanding performances in two individually graded events. Private Daryl W. Woods from Platoon 2154 is the company high shooter, scoring a 338 out of 350. Private First Class Ryan E. D. from Platoon 2155 is the most physically fit Marine, scoring a 300 out of 300 on the physical fitness test and the combat fitness test. They will be receiving awards from the Marine Corps Association and Foundation. Present today is the company honor graduates recruiter, Staff Sergeant Rachel Warford. Also present today 
is the primary marksmanship instructor with a platoon high shooting average of 220 out of 250 for platoon 2154, Sergeant Benjamin J. Jones. Recruit training is comprised of subjects required to produce basic Marines who function effectively in garrison are trained in rudimentary individual field and combat skills and practice the personal and professional traits which distinguish them as Marines. Examples of these traits are Discipline, the achievement of a state of discipline which assures respect for authority, instant and willing obedience to orders, and the self-reliance to maintain or improve those traits which exemplify a Marine. Military bearing, consistently demonstrating military presence and personal awareness, as well as the proper wearing and maintenance of uniforms. Esprit de corps, acquiring the common spirit of the Marine Corps that inspires enthusiasm, devotion, pride, initiative, teamwork, aggressiveness, determination, moral courage, integrity, camaraderie, and the burning desire to work with and for others toward excellence and common goals. For 247 years, Marines have fought and won whenever and wherever the nation calls, in the harshest conditions, over the most brutal terrain, and against the most formidable enemies, Marines defend the ideals of freedom with grit and tenacity. Though battlefields change and capabilities evolve, history proves that true victory comes from the individual Marine. With skilled resolve, the drive to overcome any obstacle, and the warrior spirit to fight on against all odds. It takes that steadfast faithfulness, semper fidelis, to core, country, and each other that abounds throughout our storied legacy. Marines today remain in combat, four deployed throughout the world, confronting every challenge with courage, loyalty, and faithfulness. They are resolved to be most ready when the nation is least ready, to defend freedom anytime and anywhere, to stand ready to aid those devastated by natural disasters, to pay tribute to those who have forged our proud legacy, and to honor the families and loved ones who faithfully stand beside us. For the Marines of Company G, today marks the end of the 13-week recruit training cycle. They have marched countless miles at Camp Pendleton and on this parade day, and have been trained, as are all Marines, as basic riflemen. In addition, due to an intensive physical training program, their strength and endurance have doubled since their arrival aboard the recruit depot. They are Marines, qualified to take their places in the ranks of the world's finest fighting organization. The platoons are now being aligned from left to right in order to get them into their exact positions for the parade.
The next portion of the ceremony will be our national anthem. We welcome veterans and members of the armed forces to join us in rendering appropriate honors with a military salute. For guests who have not served in the military, it is proper etiquette during the national anthem to place their right hand over their hearts and for those in the audience wearing headgear to remove it. Will the guests please rise for the presentation of the colors. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Thank you. Please be seated. Following the command, Parade Rest, the Parade Adjutant will give the command sound off, which signals the band a parade board of the assembled Marines while playing military marching music.
The parade adjutant now presents the assembled command to the commander of troops. Officer Center March. All unit commanders and guide on bearers march to the front and center of the formation. Historically, it was at this point that commanding officers would issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. Following this, the unit leaders would face about, return to their units, and pass the information along to their Marines.
throughout our nation's history, millions of men and women have earned the title of United States Marine. Many who have helped shape our history join us here today. In keeping with the tradition of once a Marine, always a Marine, we would like to recognize them. At this time, those in the audience who have served as Marines, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for their dedicated service to Corps and country. Thank you. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the Battalion Commander for 2nd Recruit Training Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel James R. Smith. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Brigadier General Jason L. Morris, the Commanding General of the Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego in the Western Recruiting Region, as well as on behalf of Colonel Joseph W. Jones, the Commanding Officer of the Recruit Training Regiment, welcome to the graduation of Company G. I'd like to begin today by recognizing a few groups vital to our mission accomplishment. First and foremost, to you, the friends and families of these new Marines, thank you for your love and support on their journey to this momentous day. You laid the foundation which allowed them to take the initial steps towards becoming a Marine. Your love and support sustain them during their training and will continue to be a source of strength in their new vocation. Welcome to the Marine Corps family. To the families of the Company G staff seated to the right of the reviewing stand, no one knows more than you the time and dedication it takes to transform a civilian into a Marine. Sergeant Major and I are deeply grateful for your sacrifice and support which enables these drill instructors and officers to perform this critical task. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the God's Company family. I'd like to recognize today's parade reviewing official, Chief Law Officer 5 Montero, whose impressive bio you will hear shortly, and who currently serves with the Defense Counterintelligence and Security Agency. Sir, it's an honor to have you. Thank you very much for being here. You know, making Marines is truly a team effort, and at the forefront of that effort are Marine recruiters stationed across this great country. These men and women work tirelessly to identify, educate, and inspire the next generation of Marines. This legion of recruiters is represented today by Staff Sergeant Warford of Recruiting Station Indianapolis, Indiana, who's responsible for guiding the company honor graduate, Lance Corporal Franklin, Franklin into our Corps. Our other partner in this endeavor are the instructors at Weapons Field Training Battalion, who teach the critical combat skills necessary to fight and win in any climb and place. They are represented by Sergeant Jones, the primary marksmanship instructor for the company's high shooter, Private Woods. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for our recruiters and our combat instructors. The last group I'd like to recognize certainly needs no introduction, for everyone knows the distinct campaign cover of a legendary Marine Corps drill instructor. From the moment your recruit arrived on the depot, there's been a drill instructor with them 24 hours a day, seven days a week, tirelessly instilling the qualities and esprit de corps of a United States Marine and leaving an indelible mark on those they lead. Trust me, your Marine will never forget the name, the face, or the gentle, loving voice of their drill instructors. Now, these Marines behind me are on average 18-year-old high school graduates. Six have college degrees. They come to us from every state and territory in the Western Recruiting Region and 25 countries around the world, including Japan, Germany, and Jamaica. And when they raised their right hand and swore an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States, they differentiated themselves from 99% of their peers. Upon arrival here, these drill instructors forged them in the fires of martial discipline, shaping their minds and bodies in the mold of generations of Marines who have worn our cloth. As Marines proved themselves capable and worthy, carrying heavy loads long distances over rugged, mountainous terrain with minimal food or sleep to be where they're needed, when they're needed, to accomplish any mission. Now, you may have noticed some change in your new Marine. They stand a little taller, look a little leaner, and sport an outstanding Marine Corps haircut. And moms and dads, I guarantee they know how to make their beds. But the truly important change is the one that has taken place within, where they have been immersed in our core values of honor, courage, and commitment. And by virtue of standing here today, they've embraced those as their own. It's because of this, because of the journey they've undergone, 
because of the moral, mental, and physical development they have displayed, that I am pleased to present 413 young men and women who can forever proudly claim the title of United States Marine. And if you'd excuse me, I'd like to address the nation's newest Marines. Good morning, Marines. Sergeant Major and I are incredibly proud of you. We've watched you learn, strive, and grow these past months, and we are pleased to welcome you to our ranks. When you arrived here on our Yellow Footprints, you affirmed a commitment of selfless service to our Corps. These drill instructors fanned a flame inside of you, and now we expect you will keep it burning bright. You can be justifiably proud of what you've accomplished here. You earned your tan belt in our martial arts program. Some of you learned to swim for the first time in our water survival training, and many overcame a fear of heights and our confidence in obstacle course. You learned weapons employment to deliver precision fires on targets from a staggering distance of 500 yards. And in a final test, you completed the grueling three-day crucible where you were required to display exemplary character, physical and mental toughness, leadership, the ability to decide, act, and communicate, and a warfighter spirit. And every Marine, past and present, expects you to display those same attributes in your future trials. And so having completed the most grueling recruit training on this globe, you're ready to carry on our tradition as America's Naval Expeditionary Force in readiness. As you go forward on the next leg of your journey, I implore you to be safe, be smart, and make good decisions. Remember that Eagle Globe and Anchor pressed into the palm of your hand atop the Reaper represents 247 years of Marines who have come before you. You must always be worthy of that legacy and protect what you've earned. And so on behalf of the Marines, sailors and civilians here aboard the Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego, and we offer you a traditional naval parting of fair winds and following seas. Congratulations, Marines. Semper Fidelis, welcome to the Corps. Now taking your position in the reviewing area is today's parade reviewing official, Chief Warrant Officer 5, Thomas Montero, United States Marine Corps, retired. He's accompanied by Colonel Joseph W. Jones, Commanding Officer, Recruit Training Regiment. Chief Warrant Officer 5, Thomas J. Montero, United States Marine Corps, retired. Chief Warrant Officer 5 Montero is a counterintelligence professional who retired from the United States Marine Corps Reserve after 31 years of combined active and reserve service. He received his Bachelor of Arts from St. Leo University in Sociology. During his military career, he supported combat, counterterrorism, counter-narcotics, and counterintelligence operations in Europe, Africa, the Middle East, Latin America, the Indo-Pacific region, as well as the United States. Chief Warrant Officer 5 Montero has been actively involved in his community, supporting children and disabled veterans as a member of the Board of Directors for several not-for-profit organizations and various cities' cultural affairs executive committees. He began his career in the Defense Counterintelligence Security Agency in 2002 as a counterintelligence special agent. Chief Warrant Officer 5 Montero currently serves as the Regional Mission Director of Counterintelligence, Western Region, Defense, Counterintelligence, and Security Agency. Chief Warrant Officer 5 Montero is the recipient of the Legion of Merit, the Bronze Star, and over 40 military awards and medals. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Chief Warrant Officer 5 Thomas Montero.
combat in conflicts around the world, including places whose names are immediately associated with marine courage and dedication. Names such as Guadalcanal, Tarawa, Iwo Jima, Pusan, Inchon, Chosen Reservoir, Quezon, Way City, Lebanon, Grenada, Panama, Kuwait, Somalia, Belusia, Ramadi, Marja, Sangen, and our most current operations worldwide. This parade deck is rich in history and tradition, and no marine trained here ever forgets its sights and sounds. Page 21. 
21 of your graduation pamphlets, you will find the Marine's Hymn. The Marine's Hymn has a history dating back to 1859. It is a long-standing tradition for Marines to face the direction of the music and stand at attention when it is heard. It is now directed that all Marines present and to have served honorably. And ladies and gentlemen, you are all encouraged to join. Sing the words of the first verse as Marine Band San Diego performs Anchors Away, followed by the Marine's Hymn. Will the guests please rise?
Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we would like to introduce to you the Marines responsible for ensuring the success of the difficult transition required to become a Marine. The company commander is Captain Charles W. Sprott. The company first. Applause for the company staff of Company G. The next portion of the ceremony will be the traditional function of retiring the guidons. The guidons will now be returned to the drill instructors. presented a plaque by the battalion commander, Lieutenant Colonel Smith, and the battalion sergeant major, Sergeant Major Valdez. Ladies and gentlemen, please hold your applause until all honor graduates have been recognized. Present! The honor graduate for Platoon 2149 and the company honor graduate is Lance Corporal Madison D. Franklin from Indianapolis, Indiana. Lance Corporal Franklin is also the recipient of the Chesky Puller Award for her outstanding meritorious performance while in recruit training. The honor graduate for Platoon 2150 is Private First Class Nashery A. Smith from Fresno, California. The honor graduate for Platoon 2151 is Private First Class Daniel J. Luckett from Chicago, Illinois. The honor graduate for Platoon 2153 is Private First Class Gregory D. Carter from St. Paul, Minnesota. The honor 
graduate for Platoon 2154, and the series honor graduate is Private First Class Marco A. Fletes Marquez from Los Angeles, California. And the honor graduate for Platoon 2155 is Private First Class Nicholas D. Vischer from Castle Rock, Colorado. Ladies and gentlemen, the honor graduates of Company G. The company first sergeant will now give the command to the senior drill instructors to dismiss their platoons. Needless to say, this will be the most welcome command they have received throughout recruit training. Senior drill instructors! Dismiss your platoons! I am the first sergeant! Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony.